Yo, what's going on y'all? I'm Ryan Fila and here are quick tips for traveling Cusco and Machu Picchu in 2021. First things first, you'll still need to be tested when coming to Peru. I don't think flexing the Vax card makes a bit of difference here and you'll still have to wear two masks and the face shield on the entire plane ride. And once you get here, you have to wear two masks and a face shield on all public transit. But the truth is sometimes that's a little bit lax. It depends where you are in Peru. Here in Cusco, the public transit isn't quite as official. So sometimes you can get away with just wearing one mask, but if you're going to Machu Picchu, you'll definitely have to wear at least one mask and a face shield for the bus and train ride. Let me put your Peru travel into perspective just a little bit. Peru in general with COVID has had one of the worst death rates in the world. So that's what you're traveling to. So you have to understand that's what the perspective of the local people is gonna be. Now, when you're here, it is still the law to be wearing your masks when you're outside, basically anywhere, unless you're eating. Um, but if you're vaccinated, obviously you don't technically need it. It is the law and you're supposed to be wearing it, but in your mind, you're probably thinking I'm vaccinated, I don't need it. Now, if you walk around in the streets without a mask, you'll probably get away with it, that's the reality, but you're gonna look like the dumb gringo who doesn't really care about the local people or the customs here. So at that point, it's more social than anything. My recommendation to you when you get here is at least wear your mask while you're in the streets. It's just respectful. This is my favorite place. Gracias. Muchas gracias. These are literally the best sandwiches in Cusco. I get all this for like 75 cents. It's ridiculous. But anyways, if you're coming to Cusco, which will probably be your first stop, you have to get transit here from Lima. So you'll either fly or take the bus. Now I took the bus out here mostly for the experience and to make a video so I could let you know what it was like. It really didn't save me that much money and I had a nightmare of a trip. First time I got in motion sick like this in a long time. Now, if you don't get motion sick, it's a great way to travel from Lima to Cusco. You see an incredible view of the Andes Mountains, but it is a lot of movement and swaying back and forth. So if you get motion sick, I'd probably recommend taking the flight. Plus, like I said, you only save a little bit of money. I think the bus ride was like $20 cheaper than taking the flight. And the bus ride is 26 hours, well, 20 to 26 hours, where the plane ride is like an hour and a half. Now, for that trip, you will have to have a face shield again and a mask. If you take the bus, they get a little bit lax throughout the evening, but just play it by ear and see how the people around you feel and how they act, and then kind of mirror that action. Now, if you're going to Machu Picchu, it is the perfect time because there are so few people still out there right now. If you are vaccinated and comfortable coming out here, it may be a once in a lifetime opportunity to see Machu Picchu itself. Last week when I went, they were only allowing 100 foreigners per hour to go to Machu Picchu, and I didn't see a single time slot where it was actually full. Buen día, amigo. Now, I give it about 30 seconds while I'm out here with this camera before somebody comes up to me trying to sell something. And that's the side of tourism right now that I wanna talk about. And that's the financial side for some of these local communities that are heavily dependent on tourism. Cusco's economy is extremely dependent on tourism because of Machu Picchu and all of the foreigners coming in. So if people around you are giving you a hard time for traveling, if you're fully vaccinated, what's the additional risk? That's my question. If you're fully vaccinated and you're traveling to a location that is heavily dependent on tourism, you're not heightening the risk for the people in those areas, but you are benefiting the economy in that location. So if you've had some thoughts about not traveling because of COVID still, but you are fully vaccinated, my question to you would be why? What is the additional risk that you're adding to those local people. Wow, I was wrong. I've been here about two minutes and nobody's come up to me trying to sell me something yet. This is crazy. I guess that's also a side tip. When you come to Plaza de Armas, people will be trying to sell you stuff constantly. So just be ready for that. Just say no thank you if you don't want. No gracias, mami. No gracias, papi. Estoy bien. 
that means I'm good if you know no Spanish. In Peru, a lot of people do not speak English. So if you know Spanish, it will go a long ways. If you don't know Spanish, learning a few phrases will go a long ways as well. One phrase that you should know is cuánto cuesta. And that means how much does it cost? About to turn up tomorrow, okay. Tomorrow's a big event out here in Cusco, a day where they worship the sun. Now, a few other things about traveling right now that's super beneficial is that Airbnbs and hotels are wide open. Hostels here are open as well. There's one called Loki. I'll put it down in the description below. That's awesome, fun, great people work over there and it's super cheap. It's 26 soles per night. Now, Peru is known for its food. There's good food all over the country, but we're talking about Cusco in specific. Here is Plaza de Armas, which you will probably spend a lot of your time right behind me is the big main church. Now, if you go this way, if you go down over here, there are a ton of incredible restaurants, places to sit, live music. Some of my favorite is actually just the street food. I'm a sucker for the popcorn. It's only one sole, which is one sole, which is 25 cents. Uh, Paparenas, which is basically a fried potato on the outside with some vegetables and meat. Sometimes I'm vegetarian, so I don't get that, but vegetables and meat in the potato. And then on the very inside is a hard boiled egg. I showed you some of my other favorites this morning. The cheap sandwich is just like a dollar a piece. But they do have some really good cafes and some high end restaurants as well. I'll put a couple locations down below. I actually have a saved list of my favorite places in Google Maps. So I'll probably just put that link down in the description so you can go around and check out my favorite places from food to tourist attractions to holes in the wall all over Peru, but mostly centered around Cusco in Lima. Now my last tip for you is about how to get home. You might not think about it when you're traveling to Peru, but you'll think about it when you're in Peru trying to get home. And it's how to get tested because when you go back to the US, you still have to have a negative COVID test. So there are some resources that I'll put down in the description that I got from a local here because everything that I found on my Google search was super expensive, like $150 to get tested, which is ludicrous. So there'll be prices, there'll be exactly the breakdown of what you should say in the WhatsApp message because basically all you're gonna do is text a number through WhatsApp, give them your information and they will come to you and test for you for a reasonable price. What's up boys? <laughs> yeah, there are stray dogs all over Peru, but especially in Cusco. Again, I'm Ryan Fila. I hope these quick tips help you out on your travels to Cusco and Machu Picchu. Like I said, if you're going to Machu Picchu right now, might be a once in a lifetime opportunity to make that trip because it is so empty. I highly recommend that you do it right now, especially if you're vaccinated because there might not be another time in your entire life where you get to see it like it is right now. Until next time, I hope you try to live your dream and I'll see you there. Peace. Also, how could I forget this? This might be the best tip you got all video. This flag right here is actually the city flag. It's not the gay pride flag. They're everywhere when you first get here. It might be easy to mistake it, but it's the flag of Cusco.